What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? I'm Safety Scissors. And I'm Duct Tape. And we're talking about firsts. Yeah. <laughs> so, this is one of our Jen and Sean's Excellent Adventure videos. We got really behind in filming these, actually, and then we were like, oh no, we don't have any content when mm. we film. And I was like, what if we talk about our firsts? Because mm -hmm. I love reminiscing. I love reminiscing so much about, oh, yeah. like, the first time this, the yeah. first time this. And I was like, what if we bring that to everybody? And we decided it's not, like, first, like, the first time or the first thing that I wore to school in kindergarten. You know, our first together. Yeah, our firsts together. So I have a little list going, and mm -hmm. if we think of more along the way, then cool, we have more. And if you guys happen to have any ideas of things that you want to hear about our first, we can maybe make a part two if we get enough or we find other questions Absolutely. too. So leave comments below. Keep it PG. Please. Because, you know, <laughs> we are adults, but we do have fans and friends that watch this that are, you know, kids. We Underage. Want to make sure that and, we try to stay uh, PG-13-ish. So. Yeah. Keep it PG-13. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one is first impression what was your first impression of me and what was my first impression of you i'm gonna let you go first oh lord um well the first time we met i actually answered a facebook ad mm -hmm. of his it was more like he, he posted i want to do video work does anybody want a video and i was like yes my tap dance group would like a video and he's like tap dance group and i was like yeah. She's like, we cosplay. I was like, yeah. what? It was in a cosplayer group that yeah. we met. And um, my first impression online mm -hmm. of you was very skeptical. I was just like, this guy is probably just another one of those like cosplay guys that's just in it to take pictures of pretty girls or something. Because he was a photographer and videographer. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I didn't give you much credit. Um, but then it's, we met. It's a fair assessment, you know. Unfortunately, when you meet people on the internet, sometimes they're a little yeah. odd. A little yeah. odd. I mean, fast forward X amount of years, I am still a little odd, but, you know. A little? <laughs> but we both are. <laughs> but then when we actually met in person, my first mm -hmm. impression of you was I like your hair because I like long hair on guys. And. Mm -hmm. I, you know, we were, just, it was just a business meeting. I was mm -hmm. not meeting him for like anything social. It was mm -hmm. just literally a business meeting. My first impression was, oh my gosh, finally hanging out with somebody my age. <laughs> yeah. I think that was my first impression. Like, oh, this guy's actually really nice. And wow, he's my age. Look at that. Because everyone that was with me was also part of Noise Complaint. And they were at least five years, if not 10 to 12 years younger than me. Mm -hmm. So I remember we kind of jived on mm -hmm. a couple things. Oh, yeah. We like, talked about a lot of things that were like, oh, yeah, this. And people were like, what are the 80s? <laughs> right. <laughs> so I think my first impression of you was skeptical. But then like, oh, this guy's cool. Mm -hmm. But like it definitely didn't go beyond let's make a video together. That mm -hmm. was it. My first impression was online when she messaged me, hey, I have this tap dance uh, group that wants to that needs a video done. And I was like. Okay, I, I mean, I love tap dance, so I was like, all right, I'm interested. And she's like, oh, by the way, we cosplay. I was like, wait, <laughs> you guys are nerdy cosplay tap dancers. Yes. I thought someone was just messing with me. <laughs> they were like, wouldn't it be funny if we trolled this guy? Look, he wants video work. No. So I was like, all right, cool. And then so she sent me a couple links, and uh, I checked them out, and I actually went through YouTube, and I searched for Noise Complaint. Mm -hmm. After I went through all the rock band stuff, the, the metal band. <laughs> There's a metal band called Noise Complaint, which actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I got to the, uh, I got down to where like videos of what people had filmed at conventions. So I realized they were a thing. We are legitimate. Yeah. So I was like, all right, cool. So we set up to meet. And uh, when I, my first impression with her was she was, I don't want to say shorter than I expected, because when we met, like, we, when we met, I, I don't remember. Oh, I think you were ducking down to get something out. Like you were getting at your Zelda bag that you had. Oh my gosh, and I, I was forgot like, about that bag. I was like, man, I was like, she's small. And then she stood up and I was like, okay, average height, cool. And then I realized her hair is ginormous. <laughs> and I, like in pictures, it looked big. And I was like, okay, cool. But in person, she's just like, boom. And it's just like, I hello have, hair. I just have a lot of hair. Look <laughs> and at it this. Just it like, takes up the whole screen. So, like, I'm just, like, watching it, and I'm just, like, that's a lot of hair. And then, you know, I, I met the rest of them. But my first impression was she was super sweet. She walked up. She gave me a hug. And we, we talked for a minute. And, like, I hugged a couple people from Noise Complaint, I think. I gave you a hug? Yeah. I think it was I after. I didn't know you, and I gave you a hug? I think it was after I hugged Dee. 
I think you hug me. Just because you're like, okay, well, everybody I might have is. followed along, yeah, but I, I am like, not an instant hugger. No. He might be. I, but... I probably, it was, I'm a hugger, so I probably went in for the hug just in general. I don't I don't hug strangers. Yeah. So... Uh, it's a thing. <laughs> Especially but... not anymore. Yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> but um, she was super sweet, and I was, I was like, this lady is really nice. And lady. Look, at that point, you were a client to me, you know? This lady. Or you were a customer. I prefer so. captain. Ah. Uh, <laughs> this captain was uh, super polite and super nice, and so she was really cool. So, yeah. All right. First I think you had a band t-shirt on. I think it was, yeah, I think you had a uh, a band t-shirt. I don't remember which t-shirt. Maybe. Maybe Green Day or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All right. So, first meeting in person, what did we do? We, uh, that, we yeah. were at Mellow Mushroom mm-hmm. meeting to discuss a video, he showed us some like footage that he had done and like some manipulations and I don't know, you added some cool effects to this dancer and mm-hmm. I thought it was just amazing and it was right up the alley of what we needed mm-hmm. for our video that we were doing because we were doing a Nintendo video that had all these like visual effects. Mm-hmm. There was going to be Goombas and there was going to be paratroopers, paratroopers, Koopa paratroopers, Koopa troopers, Koopa troopers. Koopa troopers. But paratroopers, I thought were a the A paratrooper line. is No, a... paratroopa. Oh, I don't know. Am I wrong? I would have to Google. I can't. Go, I can't Google it. My phone is taking this video. But yeah, um, the um, no, it's uh, <laughs> but yeah, we were like, she's like, I want all this stuff. So like, there's different themes of different song or different games from Nintendo in it. And she's like, I'd love to Im- implement this and implement this. I was like, well, let's do it. He, he literally made us a castle behind yeah. us. It was like amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, we actually had to take that video down. Mm-hmm. Um, but we're redoing it soon, mm-hmm. so that's pretty exciting. Yeah. It's sad that we had to take that video down. Um, there were reasons, but mm-hmm. that's not for this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, but anyway. was, that was our first meeting. Was we did? I had pretzels, and they had pizza and stuff. And yeah, yeah. I remember I, like funny story. I was dead broke that day. I was so broke, but I was like, I gotta look like I don't mind. But um, I had, ju- I think I had just paid rent, and a lot of stuff was going on in my personal life with an ex at that point. So like, I was like, I gotta eat food. So I was like, I, I, I guess that that I know that feeling of like, oh man, if I don't order something, they're gonna think I'm just like a moocher or something, mm-hmm. or that I don't know how to live my life. I know so, that stress. So I we played. Have the, judged you. I know, but I played that whole. Oh well, I've never eaten here, which I never had, and I was like, "What's really good?" And everybody mentioned stuff. I was like, "How are the pretzels?" Because I saw they were like six bucks. I was mm-hmm. like, "I can do that." And so that was that was my biggest yeah. fear because Mellow I didn't mushrooms know them. not cheap. No, <laughs> and I had no idea. Yeah. So, but no. I think I bought three people's dinner that night, mm-hmm. and I think that ran me like seventy dollars or something. <laughs> I was like, "Oh God, why?" Yeah, but uh, I just have felt like adding that in because it was it was a funny thing because it was like I was meeting a business client and I was like I can't look mm, like I'm yeah you know less. it's like if if you're meeting for business and the person orders like a martini or something you're like dang it now I gotta order a drink too mm-hmm. so yeah I, I feel that yeah I feel that <laughs> um, first date hmm. I don't even know that we had one. I mean, we hung out all the time because we were best friends. Yeah. So I don't know when it... At the if, point where we decided to start dating, what, what, did we, like, go on a date? I know there's there's things that we did mm-hmm. that would be considered dates. That we went to this coffee shop, mm-hmm. and then we would go for a Poke Walk, Pokemon Walk. And, like, Pokemon Go, mm-hmm. in case you... We, there's not actual Pokemon, unless there are. Um, we missed them? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, I would feel like that was our first date. Maybe? Probably because, you know, it's something that we did on a regular basis to begin with as friends. Like we'd go to the coffee shop and we'd work out ideas for videos or yeah. art. We did that all like the that. time. It was just normal. Like we would do it with each other. We'd bring other people just hanging out, you know. Just... But at some point we shifted from sitting across the table to sitting next to each other and holding hands while doing exactly yeah. that. So at some point. <laughs> I, w- I bet our first date would have been coffee and a donut somewhere i I don't even know like this is when when you're best friends with somebody well when you start out as like i was i hired you for Mm -hmm. a job then we turned into friends then we turned into best friends Mm -hmm. and then we just said we should probably date at some point things get a little gray area i guess it's like it's like it's not like a sudden black gray white you know like boxy Mm -hmm. it's like a gradient that just goes you know yeah there was no like sudden like hey this is the moment that we're this 
you know, like some people, when you meet someone for the first time, you're like, hey, I got a blind date I'm going to go out with. That was your first date. With us, it was just kind of like a, it's a Tuesday, so we're, you know, going on a poker walk or we're going yeah. to the get, <laughs> you know, um, coffee, so. Yeah, I think, yeah, I would say that. Yeah, or... I'd... Specific, a walk. yeah, probably a walk. <laughs> a walk, probably. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Who was the first person to know that we were dating? This is a tricky one. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say that the answer is my mom mm-hmm. because I tell her everything. Uh, I can tell you that the first p- people to think we were dating is everyone in noise complaint. Mm-hmm. Everyone in noise complaint was like, are they together or something? <laughs> like even before we were together, people yeah. were like, are you guys a thing? And we were like, no, Mm-mm. ew. <laughs> yeah. No, it wasn't. We weren't, we weren't anywhere in the wheelhouse of wanting to be in a relationship with each other and no, but had no assumes. feelings. Yeah. And it was so funny. Like everybody's like, do you like her? No. Everyone saw chemistry where we didn't. Yeah. We didn't know that there was chemistry here. And this is like award-winning science chemistry. And Mm -hmm. uh, they saw it, you know? So, but who was the first person to actually know about us? I would say Ninja. Oh, yeah. 100% Ninja (laughs) knew. But my mom. Yeah. um, I I also would say Alex. Mm -hmm. There might be like some of the first to know about Mm -hmm. us. But I know that I talked to Noise Complaint about us potentially dating. Mm -hmm. Before we actually dated, um, I kind of, cause you know, dating within the company can get tricky, mm-hmm. and especially if the boss dates somebody in the company. And I had just, you had just, just transitioned from uh, outside contractor mm-hmm. to actual dancer, and so basically, I had just become your boss yeah. as well, and or your director, yeah. I guess, <laughs> and it's like. I don't know. It just made things a little scary. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, it was, I had to ask permission, but not permission. I just wanted everyone's blessing before we went ahead and did it because, you know, if something goes wrong, then it could dismantle the company. I'd been there actually. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's actually something that her and I talked about that if something was to happen and if it was a rough breakup or whatever, I would bow out of noise complaint until, and maybe go back to just the reserve or the video. unless it was a rough breakup then yeah. you wouldn't even be able to do yeah. the video thing and, i'd be like that's it you're that's, out that's one thing about her and i is we are <laughs> adults in the literal sense it's that we're, we're mature about we it we can talk and... about anything if there's any issues or anything we can talk about it yeah we, you know because we've learned in previous relationships and stuff that if you can't talk to somebody about it you shouldn't be in a relationship with you them. absolutely shouldn't there should be no fear of making the other mm-hmm. person mad everything should be a conversation mm-hmm. so here we are mm-hmm. and we've had the discussion of what if we break up our lives are very intertwined mm-hmm. right now what if we break up how do we unravel that Mm-hmm. What would we have to unravel? Anyway, that's not <laughs> what we're talking about today. So, first kiss. Ooh. I remember it. I remember it. You were upset at me. <laughs> I surprised you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you... Uh... I was not up for kissing it at first. I'm, I move very, very slowly in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And one day, I was just... I had the inclination, and I went, all right, I'm going to go for it. And I, I shocked him. He wasn't ready. And... Couldn't I'm get sorry. my couldn't get my smooth you know kissing mode on and it was just like like oh hello Look. she just surprised and attacked me I was like I'm being attacked Help. I can <laughs> I can make the first move so yeah mm-hmm. I shocked him mm-hmm. I was just I just was not prepared <laughs> I was just sitting there and then bam yeah like someone just comes up and just <laughs> but I'm glad she did hmm. first <laughs> holiday together so. As close best friends, our first holiday together was Christmas. Mm -hmm. Uh, You came down because you didn't have anywhere to go for Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I invited you down to my mom and dad's house. Mm -hmm. And you got to spend Christmas down there. Mm -hmm. For those Um, of you that have been following us or don't know yet, my family's all in Ohio and we're in Florida. So And he couldn't make it up there. Plane ticket prices were just insane. Mm-hmm. And I said, "Well, I'm driving down to my family." And he'd known my family for mm-hmm. a while because of the conventions and stuff. We would stay at my mom and dad's house to go to Miami conventions. Yeah. So they knew each other. And they I was were, like, hey. "They were mom and dad before we started dating." So. Yeah, and I was like, "Hey, you know, we've got we've got a couch and we've got Christmas uh, we've got matzo ball soup. You mm-hmm. want to come?" And he's just like, "Uh, I don't know what matzo ball soup is, but sure." Mm-hmm. And now you love matzo ball soup. You yeah. don't even lie. <laughs> and it was it was definitely really cool that they opened their doors for me, someone who they kind of knew, but 
they didn't know the greatest, but they were like, you know what? They even, I remember your, your mom and dad got me something and mm. your brother got me something. And, and I really, I thank my lucky stars that actually we made the decision for you to just come spend Christmas with mm-hmm. me because that was the last Christmas you could have spent with my dad. Yeah. Because that was my dad's last Christmas on earth and you actually got to spend a Christmas with him, which mm-hmm. if you hadn't come down, you wouldn't have. Yeah. Because we weren't dating yet, but... We were just friends and... Yeah, my dad liked you, though, a lot. Your dad was really cool. He, he, was, such a, he was such a fun guy. <laughs> he absolutely liked you. It was great. <laughs> um, first big purchase together. This is one that I don't know. I like do. Like what you classify as a big purchase. Look at your shirt. Is a cat not a big purchase together? That is true. That is a lifelong commitment. Is that not a big purchase? See, I was thinking financial. You're thinking long term. You're I'm right. thinking long term financial. Mm-hmm. T'Challa is expensive. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. We bought a cat mm-hmm. together. Um, we adopted. I say bought. I don't like that word because um, he's not property. Mm-hmm. But we adopted a cat together, mm-hmm. and we love him very, very much. That's our little boy. Is <laughs> he's the one you guys never see on camera? Mm-hmm. And if you do, it's just a quick. It's a Hello. surprise. You just and see then... the tail, and then he's gone. <laughs> But this is, we got this shirt. Mm-hmm. I got him this shirt at a con, and uh, it's literally the Black Panther, but it's Simba. And mm-hmm. it's just, it's our little prince, and we love him. So. Yeah, our little T'Challa, yeah. That's, he's... I think that's our first big purchase. Mm-hmm. Now, our next big purchase is probably going to be, like, a house or something. Mm-hmm. I don't consider a wedding a big, a big purchase, because mm-hmm. we're not, we can't take it home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can't, can't take a house home. No. Like, financially, at first, T'Challa wasn't a big purchase. But throughout the span of his life, he's going to cost thousands and thousands of dollars. Mm-hmm. That's such a commitment mm-hmm. to me, you know? Yeah. Either that or, like, our first big purchase together was um, sound equipment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I would have to say that would be, I agree. I think T'Challa's our, our first big purchase because, yeah. like you said, it's not necessarily just a monetary big purchase. It's a It's a big decision to... Yes. Have a baby. We basically, we, we adopted a baby mm-hmm. that day, and he's the lowest maintenance of mm-hmm. all of our cat kids. Mm-hmm. Sayuri's a lot. <laughs> now, unless you're trying to leave. Then, then, then T'Challa's like, excuse me. Excuse me, I need pets. Leave. And we're like, You haven't pet me all day, and you're like, I, I haven't have pet you all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, first cosplay together. Ooh. The first cosplay in, that isn't noise complaint that we did together. Okay. I think... We didn't actually do a team cosplay until Elliot and Parker. Yeah, we uh, we did at MegaCon. We did Elliot and uh, Parker from Leverage. <laughs> and as you can tell, I would have been Elliot and she was Parker. Parker. Um, I think that was our first actual cosplay together. That like, wasn't... We accidentally cosplayed Lucy and Natsu mm-hmm. because for that show, you were Natsu and I was Lucy mm-hmm. from Fairy Tale. Well, the first time I did Natsu, I wasn't. I wasn't a dancer in Noise Complaint yet. No, but we but, that we didn't plan that together. Yeah, but I just wanted to do... I When I first was hanging out with Noise Complaint doing the video and photo stuff, I kind of wanted to pe- people to know that I was with them also, and they wanted people to know that I was a so part of So why'd you group. pick a character somebody else already had? Because <laughs> it was my favorite character in Fairy Tale, so... Okay. And I was like, well, you know, that way then I'm a, with the group of Fairy Tale people, so cool. Yeah, and eventually, because he had that costume, we needed a Natsu for a show that um, our regular Natsu couldn't be at. So he wore that, and so we were Natsu and Lucy that mm-hmm. day. And I was just like, oh, cool. And that was back when we were friends. We weren't mm-hmm. even a thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but our first cosplay actually together was um, Elliot, Elliot and Parker. And, Parker. Yeah. and I still have that costume. Mm-hmm. That He just wore his normal clothes. Yeah, I just wore nothing. my regular. <laughs> I had to buy pants for that. Um, all right, the first movie we watched together like there was a dance movie you made me watch oh 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 uh it's the one with Derek huff yes it's the one where like it was crushed... really good he crushes cans of like beer and tapes them to his feet to tap dance on a bar and there's mm-hmm. like tap dance all of all over this video what movie is that mm. panda would know yeah I don't know, but that's the movie that we watched first together. If mm-hmm. not that, it was Pitch Perfect because he is such a fan of Pitch Perfect. I really am. It's uh, it's so funny. It's like one of the dumbest movies on earth, but I absolutely love it. Hey, it's fine. It's got good music. It's got fun storyline. What's yeah. not to love? Yeah. So uh, yeah, I think that <laughs> uh, the only only other thing else that I could have said was our first movie together would have been Hackers. From the 90s. It wasn't our first. No. Yeah, that was definitely not the first movie we watched together. Mm. But 
first concert together? Hey. Was it Mayday Parade or was there one before that? It was Mayday. Are you sure? I think that's the only concerts we've been to. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you that. Okay, so Mayday Parade's um, regular 2018 show we went to, and then the 2019 Anywhere But Here tour uh, where they did the whole album. We went Mm -hmm. to see that, and we had tickets for the 2020 new show, Mm -hmm. and literally five days before the show, they had to cancel it because of COVID. And two days before that, we were supposed supposed to to go see... see... Sir mix a lot and Vanilla Ice. I'm so upset. <laughs> she texted me and she was like, this got canceled. I was like, oh. yeah. she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's not your fault. But she's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I'll never forget the day that I bought those tickets and I surprised you with them. Mm-hmm. I was just like, oh, hey, so guess excited. what I got us tickets to? And I showed him my phone and he's just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then we almost went to see Tech 9 mm-hmm. together, but I don't remember why we didn't. I think you had work and i think i had work i don't know um so we just have a couple more uh first project together i mean obviously noise complaints video Mm -hmm. was our first project together but what was our first project i know what it was Mm. ave maria Ooh. the first solo dance video that he made for me was ave maria i basically danced with myself Mm -hmm. uh it was me and i should talk about this in a vlog one time it was me as what society wanted me to be. I was wearing a dress. I was wearing like fashionable necklaces. I was in heels. I had my hair up. Mm -hmm. I was an adult. Mm -hmm. It wasn't even like that I was wearing a dress. It was that I looked like a put together adult. Mm -hmm. I acted my age in how I dressed. And then in the other frame, I had knee high Punisher socks Mm -hmm. and tap boots instead Mm -hmm. of heels and shorts and a flannel and a Captain Proton shirt. And Mm -hmm. I was myself, authentically myself, and then, like, what people wanted me to be, Mm -hmm. and I danced with myself, and it was a really, really cool video, and that was the first project Mm -hmm. that we did together. Yeah, I got to split the frames and put Jen with Jen. And it's so funny, because I didn't choreograph the arms in that video, but my arms are identical, Mm because I guess I just move them the same way when Mm -hmm. I dance. It's really cool. Yeah, it's It's really, really it was, it definitely made for lining up stuff a lot easier. Right? Right? (laughs) So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Um, it has a copyright. It has a copyright on it, which means I don't make any money if you watch it, so it's fine. I just watch it anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to get you to watch my stuff just so I make money. But this after you just, do that, watch all of our tutorials, so that way. Not all of them. Actually, a lot of them have copyrights on them too. Because I didn't think about that at yeah. first. Anyway, <laughs> um, last question. Uh-huh. First big fight. Ooh. What was it about? I don't know. I know that we didn't really have a fight until after my dad passed away. I was never the type to hold a grudge or I had just, I had really come out of like um, a friendship where I was getting into fights all the time because the other person was just very rude to me. And I, the only thing I will fight about is, hey, you can't talk to me that way. And then it caused a lot of fights. So I was not in the mood to fight with you at all. And... I think after my dad passed away, I just, I didn't really deal with my emotions and I kind of held it inside and it made me like a, like a volcano that had mini eruptions Mm -hmm. all the time. (laughs) I think what it was is, I think our first fight was, it was a video project that we were working on. I, I will 100% admit that I am a procrastinator, 100%. And I promised her that I would get it done. No, that's not our first fight. Oh. I know what our first fight was about. Oh. You lost a video. Oh. And I got really mad at you. Mm. <laughs> he lost a video I couldn't get back. Mm. And I got really, really, really mad at you. Mm-hmm. And since then we've we were fine. We've mm-hmm. forgiven each other. But I don't I didn't know. I just remembered that. Yeah. I thought it was because of the fact that I promised you that it'd be done by like a certain day and then it wasn't. No. And then I did it like four or five times and you're like Look, you can't keep promising me. And I was Look, like, we fight about that yeah, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> as, as a type A, being with a procrastinator is like literally the worst. I'm but... the worst at deadlines. I apologize. <laughs> and I'm the one who needs deadlines to function. So we have this fight a lot. But like, obviously, we're cool. We're, we figure it, it out. The thing is, is that it's, I, I would call them fights. Like, no, they're more like very uh, impassioned discussions. Yeah, like, I don't, like, <laughs> I'm not an arguer and she's not either. We're both very passive. And now, if we someone's wronged us, we'll definitely speak our mind. But 
way it's more like a discussion of what I did, how can I fix it? I will try to work on it in the future. Yeah, honestly, I am a bit of a fighter sometimes, but you you like make it so I can't even fight with you because you apologize so quickly. I'm just like, what if I felt like fighting? <laughs> She's like, like, what if I wanted to have a discussion what if argument? I was mad? And I'm just like, you're right. I shouldn't have told you that I could have it done. And, and I've never dealt with that before, so I don't even know how to handle it. She's but... like, how long will this take? Three hours. Twelve hours later. How long is this going to take? Three hours. You said that earlier. No. Oh my think gosh. I did. <laughs> but yeah, no. Our first big fight was over something pretty real, but it was something that we had to realize that it was just a thing. It wasn't a life. Mm-hmm. You know, like, it, there's things to be upset about and things to not be upset about. And yeah. I, it's interesting to end with what our first big fight is, but, or was. And it's funny is like the fight that, the discussion that we had that I thought was a discussion or a fight wasn't really that. And so it just, it just goes to show that I, this is the first relationship that I've been in that I don't argue with, that I don't fight. Like, uh, like I said, I am not used to having someone that I can discuss things with. I think that's the difference. Like, I think the difference between a really healthy relationship and a not healthy relationship is that both in both relationships, you absolutely disagree Mm -hmm. and you fight. But if your fight is more like a knockdown, knockout, drag, knockdown, drag out, Mm -hmm. what is it? it? Knockdown, drag out. (laughs) If it's more like that and it's very heated and you don't come to a resolution quickly, Mm -hmm. Um, it's not necessarily super healthy versus mm-hmm. if you fight and it's more like a discussion that mm-hmm. both halves are willing to listen to the other person and both halves are willing to accept fault and mm-hmm. accept blame and accept apology. Mm-hmm. That's more of a discussion, but it's still a fight. I'll still call it a fight because I still may say, I, I might say things. I get very hot headed sometimes. And. I'm going to I'm going to throw you under the bus for a oh, second. Oh no. So I apologize for this. So, you know, when you're when you're in an argument with somebody and then you're like I did this, 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 you did this wrong and then you're you're upset because that person like let's say let's say I broke your favorite vase. Random I don't even example. own I know. a vase. But I'm just saying let, let Clearly, we, we don't have vases in this house because she calls them vases and I call them vases. So I, just, I was just messing. I don't actually know what they call them. But let's say I broke it and then I said, no, I didn't. And then you, then that's a reason to be mad at somebody. Let's say like me procrastinating or whatever, when, when that's one of our arguments. Afterwards, she'll go, I'm really sorry I got upset. No, you had a right to get upset because I promised you something and I fell through. How are you going to apologize? I like I I do apologize after it's getting so mad at funny. him. I'm sorry. Just... I saw the bus coming and I was just like, ha. <laughs> but no, it's just so funny because like literally within minutes, she's like, I'm really sorry that I got upset with you about that. And I'm like, I'm the one that messed up. Why are you apologizing? I, I get sorry because I feel like I probably overreacted and how upset I was. Um, there's a couple of times that I, I can tell you I didn't overreact. And then most of the time I feel like getting impassionately, passionately mad. Listen, it's Monday. I don't got words. Okay. But like passionately Mm -hmm. mad about something that doesn't deserve that. Mm -hmm. Of course I'm going to apologize. You know, I never, I'm never sorry that I was, I always say this. I'm like, I'm sorry. I got so mad. I'm not sorry for what I said, mm-hmm. and I'm not sorry that I got mad at you in the first place, but I'm sorry for that I got so mm-hmm. mad. It's... And I think that's important mm-hmm. too, but he really wanted to throw me under the bus there. <laughs> but so. no, it's it's just it's just so it's so refreshing being in a relationship where if we have an argument about something and I know that I messed up and she gets upset with me, that she realizes that she got upset and she wants to apologize to clear the air on both sides. And that's really refreshing because I'm not used to that. I'm used to, you're bad, Sean. <laughs> uh, there's definitely, we can have a whole other video <laughs> on this, but there's definitely like ways that are healthy to fight mm-hmm. and ways that are not. So maybe we should do a video on that. Arm wrestling. Boom. I always lose. I don't know. I think we should do a video on that <laughs> yeah. after lunch because obviously, I don't know if you I'm guys can starving. hear it, but my stomach is like, hello, you're starving. And I'm, I'm like, sit- says who? And it's like, says the hour long run you did this morning. And I'm like, oh. I'm sitting here going on a rant about all this and I'm like starving. And I'm like, man, I hope we wrap this up soon because I'm hungry. Okay, I'm just- let's wrap this up. So thank you for joining with yeah. us. Thank you for joining us mm-hmm. on this uh, discussion of firsts mm-hmm. and tangents that it went on mm-hmm. and stuff like that. We haven't done one of these vlogs in like a week and a half because it's just been 
busy. crazy. Yeah. It's been absolutely crazy. But we have some time this week, so we get to make a few. And thank you guys so much oh, for yeah. being here for this and along our excellent adventure. And yeah. I'm Safety Scissors. And I'm starving. <laughs> you want a bagel? Yes, I always <laughs> want a bagel. Always. Thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> Bye. Bye.